Now mind you, my front displays are on a timer. <laughs> so they won't be coming on until later this evening. But inside, tree me hello <laughs> and I don't keep a lot of clothing in here just because I'm not a clothing store so I just try to do a little little dabbles just because where I live at there is only one other store in town that carries clothes so I um, didn't want to get into that that wasn't my thing flowers and home decor was more my thing but being the shopper that I am, I thought I need to carry some clothing. <laughs> so let's carry for on here and see what else I have. Oh, how did I not start with my awesome Dr. Seuss tree? And bags, my little Christmas shirts. Santa Claus tree, which my topper fell off. I'll show you the topper. I forgot to put it on before I started doing this. So I also have clearance racks here. And I have a little bit of um, children's clothing because actually I think I'm the only one in town that carries any. And once again, I'm not a children's store. So although I've always said if this went over very well, I would um, definitely open a children's store. I love looking at baby and toddler clothes. So here's my tree, and this is the cool topper. <laughs> and some stuff has sold, so I didn't get this video made before I opened. Oh, my sleigh, forgot about that. Little elves. These little trees are pre-lit. I just didn't have a good way of getting these lit up, but I would love to get them lit up. More little Christmas teas. Pillows, truck, and back over here. But um, this is generally where I keep a lot of things for funerals. But this time of year, I um, bring in the Christmas. I usually take all the plants home because I have more stuff in here. But I brought in. Um, winter things like the Norfolk tree and um, the Christmas cactus this year so my little aloe I haven't priced him because yeah, I'm still trying to keep him alive <laughs> and my lanterns oh I don't think I got a good shot back over here of the cool lanterns More my little trucks. I have more purses, but this year my niece and sister helped me decorate, and so they took a lot of things out <laughs> and put it in the back. And so, therefore, they're not all out, like the wallets aren't all out. And just started with sweatpants. I love these. I gotta still yet take pictures, add them out onto the website. Um, they are awesome. This is like a dusty lavender. It's gorgeous. So back up here. More lanterns. And then these look light up. 
And I'm thinking after Christmas is over, I can still keep these out. I'll just change out the red bow on there. And um, I have like a gray uh, silver or I have like um, another ribbon that's like this thick. Well, it's not actually even a ribbon, but um, it's got holes all over in it. It's very um, industrial looking. And I think that would be cool to leave up just for the rest of winter. So that's another thing I like to do is um, make things that can last more than one season. Like trying to get, like if I do a wreath, I try to um, make it for spring and summer. Unless somebody specifically wants something that is spring. Um, and then fall, fall, winter, or it could be winter, Christmas. Um, just try to get more usage out of it. Um, try to save them money on things, which is kind of a rarity, I think, anymore. But um, I like to do that. <laughs> um, I think people appreciate that. Some people are like, oh, don't worry about it. But I, I like to try and help people out. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, the grain deer, the little one sold. Yeah, I had something else right here and I can't remember, but it's gone. And, oh, can't see my little saying. It says, be who the world wanted you to be. Oh, darn it. And my little train. It is the, um, Oh my gosh, Tom Hanks movie, Polar Express. That is the Polar Express train. I thought it would be really cool. It ran a few times, you had to run it slow, but it keeps derailing. So, if I put it up again next year, I'm not gonna be able to have this greenery over here because it hits there. And then we even added a piece of track in this area and um, it helped. But it's still, but it's a cool little feature. It has the train noise and it has Tom Hanks from the movie saying all aboard. So it was a pretty cool little, little thing. Well, I think I've shown you everything in the front part. The back part will have to be another day because it is a mess and I'd be too embarrassed to take you back there. <laughs> So, um, cause it is jam packed with my buckets or my tubs with Christmas stuff in it and the, um, rest of the year stuff that I have out here is stored in the back and it's game on when you go back there. So I don't want to <laughs> take you back there this time. So, uh, when I bring out my other stuff and start decorating for Valentine's out here, then I'll do another video and show you what the shop looks like for that. And, um, yeah, so hope you enjoyed a quick little tour. I'm getting ready to work on a couple more videos to show you, uh, another casket spray. I'm so I promise I do more than just casket sprays, <laughs> but, um, those are just, there's not many videos out there on casket sprays. I think that's why I tend to um, show the ones that I do. And, um, there's a couple vase arrangements that also need to go today so I thought I might even video those since I typically don't do those uh, video those so I want to try and make a more of an effort to film those and then um, I'd like to do a video of the birthday not birthday <laughs> flower club that I have um, so it's uh, I have a punch card that says flower club and it has uh, 10 little holes on it. The 10th one is free. Uh, otherwise it's $15 for a vase. Granted, I do go over. I do have to limit the size of the hole on the vase just because I have some that come in with big ones and we're like, oh, there's no way you can fill that for $15. There's just no way. And, um, so that I need to, um, 
be a little more stern on, but there is a couple people I let do this because they are good customers of mine and um, I, I do it. But otherwise it's $15. The flowers last usually about two weeks. And then uh, as I said, the 10th one's free. So I punch them as we go and then start all over. So, um, no, I don't think I showed you the cute little boots and the leopard print tinnies there. And then these are also, I forgot, didn't mention this. These are also on my website. Huh. And it's skfdesignsllc.com. These are super soft. I love this company. It's so soft, I can get that texture there. And then the inside is the same feel. So it is just, and it's lightweight. So if you get warm easily, this is great. Uh, let's see, we've got this one. And this, whoops. And I love the pink vest and the little black short jacket. I will say on this one, um, I have the small and granted wearing a sleeve like this, you would be okay. Uh, but if you wore a sweater under this and my arms are small and it, it's tight. So I would definitely, I wouldn't say tight, tight, but it's, not loose and a sweater just would not be comfortable in that jacket so stay away from if thickness on that um i have one of these and then plus sizes i have this i have um some of the tanks here these are in regular and plus sizes and they um, are the kind that don't rise, so they stay put, which is awesome. Um, just a couple pairs of jeans, can-cans, and I'm not sure what this brand is here. And then out-of-season t-shirts. All right, well, I think that is it for this video. I'll see you in the next video. And until then, have a good day. Merry Christmas.